<laughs> what do we do with this? Just, just put it back there, please. Right? Hello and welcome back to Corkwing. Today's video covers the highlights of our recent trip to the island of Saroya in Norway, which lies about 300 miles north of the Arctic Circle. The team consists of myself, Ian, Trevor and Tony, and uh, we flew with Widerow Airlines from Aberdeen to Bergen and then on to Tromso and finally Hasvig on Saroya. Final mi minibus transfer took us to Breivik and uh, Camp Halibut. After a quick run round the boats we were given the, the choice of a lie-in or joining the rest of the boats as they left at 5.30 next morning. They were going to head offshore to the, the famous Stors Kaltaran Reef about 35 miles away. So really it's a, a no-brainer. And we staggered off to bed to grab a few hours kip. Miraculously enough we were all awake and uh, managed to join the other boats as they headed out on a a beautiful early morning start. The Arctic swell did hit us as we left the shelter of Breivik, so it took around an hour and three quarters to, to reach Stors Kaltaren. Trevor was our skipper um, and did an impressive job with a new boat uh, and very little sleep. I got a wee shawl of coal fish swimming down in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. First fish fell on the What is it, Doug? Well hooked, Coddy. Well hooked, Call them codlings. Oh my god, mate. Yeah, that's not bad. It's well over the first year. Yeah, that's not bad. Is it all This is bloody oh, well here. That's probably 40, if not 30. Oh, you fucking. Oh, yeah. It's all. If anybody uses a gaff, the handle comes off the end so you know. <laughs> don't hold the handle. I'll bring mine tomorrow. It's not. You two tossers. Not like you take drones in, you see. That was a sad tale of the one that you did in the stand that the girl bounced on the road. Dig in line. Just 
Okay, I'll leave our line out. That's the end. That's the end. Oh. You alright? Do you want me to swipe? No, you don't want me to swipe. You strong enough to lift that board? Oh, yeah. Just watch as I treble on the outside of it. Yeah, I'll see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trevor, your ball, your bait. Just... <laughs> There's a small skate down. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Right, back to you go. Can you do it? <laughs> this is a true test of man. All right. <laughs> Come on, goals. Go on, eat that. On you go, guys. Has to be said that the the reef was a bit underwhelming today, apart from the two big cod and a, a scattering of other fish into the low teens. The fishing was pretty slow. Um, one group in another boat had a decent haul of cod to the low twenties but mostly the other boats struggled too. However, it was definitely an experience to be so far out and in such good conditions, so uh, I am glad we made the effort. Wednesday was clear and calm, uh, but we allowed ourselves a, the luxury of a, a late start. So it was 10 o'clock by the time we, we slipped moorings and headed out to fish the reefs off Sorvire. The scenery along the way is fabulous, with treeless cliffs plunging into the ocean and kind of reminding me of northern Scotland, although they were two or three times the size of uh, the coastline back home, and with snowfields hiding in the distance as well. <laughs> I'll let you put them back, yeah. As a group show, this as we're climbing this bank, just starting to appear. <laughs> Too many times <laughs> you find. Catch him more on us. Skate. It's a oh my god! It's an anglerfish. An anglerfish. Oh wow. Yeah, we. Oh, diddly dee. What the hell? Wow. Oh, watch, he's not that well hooked. Yeah, gaff man. Yeah, baby! Well, I've never caught one of them! Uh, this is the what do we do with this? Just, just put oh, it back with three, Trevor. Nice yeah. ones, yeah? Yeah, me, I told you it was a strange fight. Yeah. I thought of What is that? Wow, watch it don't yeah. snatch you. <laughs> you fit your head in there. Yeah, we are Just... 
the Go best a puffin can do. <laughs> Lift too flat a lot, didn't it? You want them lifted or what? Uh, I guess so, Doug. Uh, I can do it. Well, it's well hooked. It's ah, it looks alright. Come here, baby. Pop a good scrap. Yeah. Not the bad one. Yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. It's godly. That's a godly hair. Yeah. You all right, Nick? Colson. Oh, I think I thought it was. <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it? I thought it was that big. It's a double tip. Yeah. So Trav's anglerfish uh, was definitely fish of the day, um, but we also had cod to the mid-teens and some decent coal fish, and the weather was frankly unbelievable for being so far north. Thursday saw us start off on similar ground, but with quite a bit more swell under us. We were getting knocked around quite a bit to start with. Palatable. This big lure for you. Rudy. Big enough. Save you the effort. Thanks coming up with the next one, good man.
lot of middling, middling sized coal fish today. Um, although these were concentrated on just a few reefs. We finished the day with a, a drift for flatties close in shore. Tony caught a place which I managed to miss on camera. But apart from that, we managed a few large dabs and a couple more wolfies. Just a wee idea of how much petrol these boats get through in a day. There must be about 500 litres in here. Friday was the only bad day weather-wise. A blustery southeasterly wind died away for a few hours before picking up again from the, the west later in the afternoon. Um, we did manage a few hours flatty bashing uh, close to camp, but otherwise we're pretty much confined to barracks today. Okay, it's a oh no, it's not, it's a haddock. It's an addock. It's an addock. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. well you alright with him? There you go. Call that a good one at home. Yeah, for sure. Call that a brilliant one at home, to be honest. <laughs> Next day saw us out on calm, sunny weather, but with a fair swell still running from yesterday's wind. We struggled a little to get bait sized coolies, um, as most were either too small or too big, if you can have a rare complaint. All the fish showing the roll on the bottom. Yeah, I think they're big ones. Got a big yeah, I had one as well. Yeah, this is a whole uh, mass that are only coming from like nine meters up and then they stop. Eventually we picked up enough and bumped our way another 20 miles around the north coast of Soraya to an absolutely stunning little bay tucked away deep in a fjord. Um, I was blown away by this little strip of sand hiding amongst the cliffs which were rising over a thousand feet around us. Um, it just begged for a little bit of kayak camping in the future. Upside down sand deal things. There's one. I 
I'm happy to admit I spent more time playing with cameras here than I did actually fishing. Okay. It's just as effective a bait as a cool fish. Seems a bit more relaxed than the cool is. So yeah. Should be something interesting. Mm -hmm. It's not it could be good. It's not Hollywood side like, is it really? Right. In the event, it was Ian that uh, produced some action with his infamous puffin lure and hold up our first halibut of the trip. We eventually headed back around towards Sorvire for an evening crack of the, the coalies and cod on the reefs. Um, Tony hooked into the bottom, or so we all thought, um, but had the last laugh when a halibut surfaced alongside our boat. Not a biggie by any means, but it was tangled up in a, a heap of braid and uh, this monstrosity of allure. Uh, I think Tony's going to give it a go salmon fishing back home in the spring. Right. For our final day we decided to head south about 10 miles and try near Hasvig. <laughs> I was feeling a line over my line. Under the lip, you got it. After a few cod and coalies, Tony hit into another halibut over one of the reefs, and at 97 centimetres, it was our biggest of the trip. Uh, 40 pounds, isn't it? Okay. Get in gently. Gently. There you go. Cod, no, it's horse. Cod, cod, cod. 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 Hey, oh, my first choice. Cod. Ah, he's just yeah. wrapped up a bit. No, oh, it's not there. Yeah. There you go. Another line there. Or something yeah. coming out of it. What? Maybe it's a torse with a rock fish attached. Uh huh. A lump sucker attached to a rock, a bit there. Well, we've done that enough times this holiday. Uh, no lumps. Okay. Oh, it's an angler fish. Oh, right. Get Trevor, do you want to get the gaff? Mm -hmm. Angler fish. Oh, that's one. That's one. Okay, one. You never see more than one, do you? Given that Camp Halibut had seen around six anglerfish in the past eight years, um, our second in a week caused a minor sensation back at base. Well, 
How are you going to hold the fish up, you big wolf? <laughs> they told me it was a terrible picture. Well, it's got you in it, of course. It Sadly, this was our last memorable catch of the trip, apart from a, a tiny redfish for Trevor. Next morning, it was another early start to catch the flights home, away from perfect Arctic weather and back to Scottish grey and wind. I'd also been in another week for our bags to finally make it home. Took eight days for Widrow to finally deliver my case. Anyway, Norway was delightful. Um, beautiful, beautiful country. Uh, even if the fishing was a bit slower than we would all have liked. And Camp Halibut was well set up. Nice boats, certainly by comparison to uh, a lot of the other camps. Anyway, thanks for watching and Hopefully we'll see you again next time. And uh, please do like, subscribe, that sort of thing.